This video is brought to you by JF Green Energy Concept. If you find this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. You can also share with your friends. Hello everyone. This is another free energy concept we want to introduce using induction system because there has been a misconception about electromagnetic induction and how free energy is created in magnetic field. Now, how to create free energy from an inductor? From this diagram, this is our battery, which is a source of energy. Here we have two lead bulbs that will indicate how energy is being generated and the supply chart. From this diagram, you can see that one, this is the normal connection. When this circuit is closed, this switch, this lead bulb will indicate that power has been supplied to this inductor. And in terms, turning this inductor into a magnet, now, this other lead bulb is reverse bias. That means when you connect this switch, this bulb will not light. But when you release the switch, when the switch is off, a reverse, a backflow EMF will now supply light to this bulb and this bulb will light showing you that during the pulse stage of any pulse motor generator that when emf is supplied to the to the inductor there is a release of back emf back to the system and this is the energy that charges the recovery battery that means when you supply energy to any induction inductor induction system energy flows back from the coil down back to the system so if you now have any way of tapping that energy it means you can now harness the energy that is converting an inductor into a magnet that means from here you can now see that it is just like a heart beat a human system the human respiratory system that you take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. This man takes in the normal charge, which is the DC charge from the battery, and brings out a back EMF, which is now an AC charge. So now, this is the, the main practical. This is your induction coil. That's normal back, ordinary iron with coils. Then this is a supply line, the 12 volts DC light. This this should be the DC line going back. Okay. And now so you can see we have 14 volts source this is a 14 volts power source now you ask yourself this is a DC system why is it that we now have a rectifier this rectifier is just a, 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 a kind of we now want to convert the back EMF to also indicate from here so that you can now see it clear that the things those things we have been talking about pm pulse motor system being an um, a kind of system that can generate free energy this video will make it clearer for you everyone to see so now let's test it and see from this pack you see that whenever you supply light to this inductor. This one will light up. But the reverse charge 
we now light this label. So this is how your pulse motor works. Pulse motor will take in your normal charge from the battery and bring out a reverse current. That's the back EMF. It's also present whenever induction. The induction process is on. Now, let's introduce a magnet to this. Because when we talk about electromagnetic induction, you can now see the effect is that now you see the thing is attracting the magnet. You can see the magnet is being attracted. Now let's see the reverse state. So the same energy that is lighting up this bulb is converting this man into a magnet and coming out as back EMF it is also supplying energy to this man so that from this concept it is now obvious that whenever you build set up your pulse motor system it is possible you convert the electromagnet into a strong magnet that will push your motor as the motor is generating magnetic is generating mechanical energy that's turning the flywheel the same energy that is converting this iron this piece of, this piece of iron into a magnet is at the same time supplying to this pub so you now have a kind of energy circle you will send energy here it will turn this man into a magnet the same energy that turned this man into a magnet is you can now extract it from another source so you put in let's say let's assume 10 watts to convert this man you can now harness at least up to 9 watts back from the system plus the mechanical energy you are generating i believe with this it is now a, a well proven concept that your pulse motor system when designed efficiently can give us something that the next generation will be happy of when we discuss anything about energy and free energy it is not just a joke we mean what we are saying and we believe that this pulse motor concept when we study it deeply and also try to blend it with the the, um, the concept that is being used in rail transport the current rail transport we now see that it is actually achievable that we can get a system that is self-sustained and make energy free and also make the world better thank you as we look forward to the next video if you find this video helpful and informative please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this you can also share with your friends thanks for watching see you in our next video